Hello everyone, this is Mahima from Aditya Gupta Classes. As most of the students have been inquiring regarding the semester 5 economics paper, like regarding the paper pattern and marks distribution, so here we are today to discuss the same. Now firstly talking about the marks distribution of the paper. Economics paper is of 40 marks in which you have 5 chapters. The first chapter basic concepts that is of 2 marks. Coming to the second chapter national income that is of 6 marks. Third chapter theory of equilibrium income determination it is of 10 marks. Fourth chapter commodity and money market equilibrium that is of 10 marks as well. Fifth chapter is the most important as it carries the maximum weightage, money, inflation and unemployment. You shouldn't be leaving out that chapter no matter what chapter you leave. So that chapter is of 12 marks. This covers your marks distribution of all the chapters that you have. Now talking about the paper part. In macroeconomics, your paper would be divided into three portions that is group A, group B and group C. In group A, you will be getting a question of 2 marks. Now, 2 marks means that in the chapter which is of 2 marks, that is basic concepts, maximum chances are you will be getting a question from that very same chapter. That chapter is very easy, so you just need to go through that one. And no matter how easy the chapter is, we will be doing it in the marathon session as well. Now, in the group A, that is first group of 2 marks, First chapter and you will be getting an or question. There will be a choice and the question is so easy that if you just go through the chapter, it would be okay for you to answer it. Now coming to group B. In group B, you will be getting three questions, six marks each. That would give you your 18 marks. First group, group A is of two marks. Second group is of 18 marks. So that is your 20 marks. In group B, you will be getting three questions Two questions would be choice. You will be having an or in those two questions. And one question would be compulsory. Now, the chapters that would be there in which you will be getting questions from, either it would be chapter 2, 3, 5 or it would be chapter 2, 4, 5. So, that would be the questions, that would be the chapters that will be referred to for questions in this portion, group B. Now coming to group C. Group C carries the maximum marks. Matlab the question, ma question marks is more. That is 10 marks each. 10 marks each as in 20 marks would be your group C. In group C you will be getting two questions in which one would be compulsory and the other one would be a choice question. You would be given a choice in that. Now chapters which would be referred to that is chapter 3, 4 and 5. So these are the three chapters from which you will be given questions in group C. That would be your paper pattern for macroeconomics. Now the marathon session of all the subjects have started in our YouTube channel. Just today we had marathon session in audit in the afternoon and in the evening we had economics in which I have completed the, the all total revision of chapter 4 that is commodity and money market equilibrium. So basically I have completed 10 marks revision altogether. If you have not done that, if you haven't joined the live session at that time, kindly do the video, do not miss it out, do not delay because you do not have your exams very far from now. Your exams are starting from 31st Jan and on 8th February you have your macroeconomics paper. So start preparing, do not delay as in when the notifications come for the live sessions, kindly join that because I promise you it would be really very helpful. So start preparing, do not delay kindly because it is your semester 5, it is your final year. Semester 5 and semester 6 are your final years. So getting a supply in these two semesters shouldn't be a choice. So start preparing all the very best and thank you.